Welcome, everyone. I am Duango AC here with Taskbot. I'm going to let these two folks introduce themselves. I am Skipper, resident Mega Man expert. I am KXP, resident Mega Man scrub. <laughs> sure. Uh, Speed scrub. So this can we get someone on the camera to turn the camera to Taskbot instead of us? Yeah, I know. Maybe, maybe we can move him over a little bit. It's I'm okay. afraid of knocking him over. So. Yeah, that's a reasonable fear. Because this is the star of the show right now, not us. He yeah. is the star. Although the real star is the person who made this run. Yes. Uh, do you remember who that is? <gasps> oh, okay. I can pull it up. We're going to get that information. Uh, I should know this. I believe Pike and FMP, I can't remember everybody who was involved in this. Not FMP, uh, Pike and somebody else. We will get the right out this list. The problem is I've looked at so many tool-assisted speedruns about Mega Man, they're all mangled in my head. Anyway, we are going to get started. So as if you haven't seen a Taskbot run before, uh, it's basically a way of sending the input directly to a Nintendo console. Here we go. Through the electrical ports. Pike and... Hey, I was right. Pike and... Oh, my. I cannot pronounce that. Tian Calver. Tian Calver? Oh, oh, my goodness. Anyway, we'll get it right. Tian Kaiwer. <laughs> so... I hope that's the right run, too. So we are ready to go. Uh, we're going to power on the console. It'll take a second for video to come online, so you'll see everything starting, or you'll hear it before you see it. Do you so want to do a five-second countdown? Three, two, one, go. All right, TaskBot, you can do this. I believe in you. I believe in you, TaskBot. Oh, oh that cropping, though. There it goes. Except for we don't have any video. There now we, we have video. There we go. All right. So, Mega Man 3, this game is notoriously laggy. <laughs> yes. I'm going to preface this whole run with this game is laggy, and Taskbot is going to do its absolute hardest to make sure to mitigate as much of this lag as possible. It's also the Mega Man game that introduced the slide, so... Yes, you, so... You'll, you won't see Mega Man not slide for yes. very long. Mega Man sliding... Taskbot slides more than the average human runner for this game. <laughs> um, basically, Taskbot does what a human can't. Uh, he will do frame perfect movements. Every every movement in this is is precise, absolutely precision, uh, precise to every little movement. Um, you will not see a single mistake. Uh, you'll even see some tricks that are so technical that we can't do them as humans. Um, such as like earlier, you saw that frame perfect jump. This little area, even Taskbot can't do it perfectly because it's just not easy. Um, but yeah, this, this run is notorious for destroying anyone who's ever played its thumbs because they were constantly sliding. So, he, this is Top Man, he's just gonna hit him every single frame that he is vulnerable to be hit, making quick work of him and doing a little dancing at the same time, because he can't stop the top. And he also ends in the middle of the screen, so yes. he doesn't have to walk to it. Yeah, so the older Mega Man's 1 through 5, you cannot walk around. Uh, at the end of the boss, you can in Mega Man 6, so you want to make sure you're as close to the middle as possible so Mega Man doesn't have an auto walk before he gets to the middle, gets the weapon upgrade. So Taskbot is always going to end the final boss, or the final shot in the middle of the uh, arena there. So we're going to go on here to Shadow Man. This is a stage that is notorious for making a lot of uh, newer runners have a lot of resets because of how many spikes and just how much lag there is. There's going to be a lot of lag that is mitigated in this run um, due to the special abilities of Task Foe. First, we're going to meet a, a Rockman's not brother, Breakman, and he's just going to make quick work of him. Yeah, the, so. thing, the thing about Breakman is that he doesn't have any hints of build. Invincibility. Right? There's no iframes, so as fast as Mega Man can shoot that Mega Buster as close as possible, he will do it. So those little towers that turn the sky into space are uh, lag generators, literally. So Taskbot is actually going to do like kind of a despawning method where he's actually going to, he, he goes on the screen, gets them to appear, and then disappears off the screen. Um, doing a couple fancy dance slides here to get through without any damage. Easy peasy, that room is annoying uh, in a normal run. Now, if I remember correctly, there's like a couple frames where you can't jump out of a slide at Correct. the very beginning. Yeah, and that yeah. top spin will actually do this. All right, let's see if he can do this. Oh no, he almost uh, he's good. So, top spin is notorious that if you hold it down and you get hit, you actually just drain your entire uh, energy reserve of top spin. Uh, and Taskbot is like, oh no, I still got one left, I got this, this is fine. 
saves that one just for just enough of the energy from from Shadow Man just to defeat him like that. So we got uh, Shadow Blade, which is used for the majority of the run, and Rush Marine, which you're going to only see like once. Um, this is where Taskbot is going to diverge from the normal path, and he's going to go to Snake Man. One of the best themes in the entire game, which has an already fantastic soundtrack as it is. Oh, right. Uh, the, the, the weakness order in Mega Man 3 is kind of weird. There is no specific 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 weakness order. This game actually has the most divergent... Oh, oh there's a zip. Zip right there. So that was the snake zip. Basically, if you press up against the back of the snake, slide away from it, and then slide toward it, and this almost like within like two or three frames, you can actually just slide right through it. Even viable? Even viable. It is, or human viable, yes. Um, I believe fast is, fast A at CC is really good at doing that. So, um, we didn't get Rush Jet from Shadow Man. Uh, he exploited a bug where you can press uh, right from Shadow Blade and you can still select the Rush Jet even though you don't technically have it yet. Yes, I forgot about that bug actually. That's why I was, now I know why I was so confused why he didn't have any energy from Rush Jet. <laughs> Yeah, you just need to find some ammo for it, and then it it it's there in your hand. It energy. generates itself. Yeah. Now, he's despawning Rush. How is he doing that? That I don't actually know. I think uh, that might be just part of. I don't actually don't know. That's a neat. That's a that's the only trick in this task. And I've been like, I've seen it. I'm like, I'm not exactly sure how he does it. So taskvideos.org does have a game resources section. It's probably documented in there someplace. Okay. Uh, you can go to taskvideos.org and click on game resources and look for Mega Man 3. Oh, by the way, that was Snake Man, if you didn't see. The slipperiest robot master in the world next to Bubble Man, I guess. <laughs> Who's also not very slippery. All right, so now we got Search Snake, which is a fun little weapon. Uh, I believe we are now going to head over to Gemini Man stage. If not Gemini, the needle. Nope, Magnet Man. I am completely wrong. <laughs> so a lot of the uh, older speedrun routes for Mega Man 3 actually started with Magnet Man first um, because you do get Rush Jet here. Uh, so it was kind of perceived as like the best starting point for the run, but then actually turned out Top Man is actually the easiest one to do with just the Mega Buster. Oh, here's Proto Man again. I'm oh, sorry, Break Man. He's not Proto Man. Spoilers. Obviously, making quick work. Those each one of those little plunger guys takes three shots to kill. Yes. And because more than one on the screen will just cause so much lag, we he, uh, Taskbot wants to make sure that he is just not letting any of them stay on the screen as long as possible. Some of this looks pretty normal. Yeah, most of the most of the stuff is actually pretty easily done. Um, easily, easily, easily done for the average Mega Man speedrunner. Um, if you ever decide you want to get into speedrunning Mega Man 3, there is a great community for it. Um, however, I have to warn you, you will get calluses on your thumbs. <laughs> That's Magnet Man. Quickly done with Shadow Blade. Good job, Taskbot. Proud of you, buddy. Yes, Magnet Man has two weaknesses. He's weak to Shadow Blade and the Spark Shot. Yes. But he's much more weak to the Shadow Blade. All right. So now I know where we're going after this one. We're going to go to Hardman. Okay. If we don't go to Hardman, I'm just going to donate 10 bucks. Okay, we're good. I'll probably donate 10 bucks anyway. Sure. And who are our donations going to? All our donations are going to Child's Play, a uh, wonderful charity here. Um, I, I, Balthazar is like the man to actually have all of the ideas and uh, speech on Child's Play. It is a wonderful charity that gives ki uh, games to kids in hospitals as well as uh, uh, family abuse shelters. So, uh, and the they actually donate 98 cents to every dollar you donate. So nice. it's really, really good charity. Um, so we're, we're doing this for the kids. Taskbot is running Mega Man 3 wonderfully for the kids. 
So as you can see, he's also doing a couple swag starts. He's using Rush uh, Coil to jump up ladders faster than you uh, normally would climb them. Saves a lot of time. These Met Dozers are also notoriously laggy, so obviously take care of them at the edge of the screen as much as possible. There's some of the lag that I was talking about. So this game, unfortunately, wasn't quite finished when it was put out. Um, oh, that's interesting. He sort of jumped off the top of the screen as he transitioned. I saw Breakman, <laughs> and then I didn't see Breakman. Um, this game was actually, uh, Skipper can fill in the gaps for me on this one. This game was actually kind of rushed out, ha, rush, uh, rushed out the door um, because Capcom wanted to fr uh, capitalize on the popularity that was Mega Man 2. Yes. And so there's a lot of unfortunate bugs that are throughout the game, but actually makes the speedrun a lot more fun, which we will see here in a little bit if we don't go to Gemini Man next. Um, unfortunately, it also includes a lot of lag. However, the, the ROM hack community, if you know anything about that, is wonderful, wonderful. Um, community, and they've actually released a ROM hack that fixes all of the major issues with Mega Man 3, the lag, some of the uh, bugs that are included, um, makes it just run so much smoother, and it's, if you can, if you can play the ROM hack, I believe it's the MM3 Ultimate? It's called Mega Man 3 Improvement. Improvement. Right, Ultimate is yours. Yes. Which improves upon the improvement. <laughs> So I get the impression this level is extraordinarily laggy. Yes. So as you can see, the entire stage is flashing. So any more than I think two enemies on the screen at once just causes this game to, uh, causes the stage to have a hissy fit. So obviously everything you see is manipulating lag above all else, although I'm sure yes. it gets to it. I, I seem to recall that lag gets to it anyway. Yes. There, there are some situations where you just can't avoid it and a little bit of swag wall bouncing there. Testbot's got to show off, and these little uh, dust piles are also lag generators, and they hurt a lot when they hit you, so you just kind of want to get through them as fast as quick as possible. These little hallways are annoyingly painful, because if you don't remember to either do a tall jump, or you can do a tall jump and hit one of those screws, get knocked right down. Do a slide where you're not supposed to slide, get knocked right down. Do a short jump where you're supposed to slide, get knocked down. It's... It can be notoriously bad, especially for a casual player of Mega Man 3. And that was Spark Man. He has multiple places he can actually jump to at the beginning of the, of the run. Uh, Taspot got lucky and got him here in the middle. Now, I saw it there before he entered the boss room. It looks like there's a frame where you can pause the game before the boss fight starts. Because he switched to Shadow Blade as yes. the door closed. I was not aware of that. I, I must have missed that one. <laughs> All right, so here is the first fun kind of glitchy uh, stage in the run. I would say this is arguably the most difficult stage of the initial eight. Absolutely. These little penguins here don't help the guys in the sky. As you can see, drop little fireballs that you have to kind of wait out or jump around, sometimes on ledges that are normally not easy to jump around. Um, Tazbot's also getting really good manipulation of uh, weapon drops. Here's the first jump. So that room, you are not supposed to be able to skip. <laughs> and then a zip. Skips upon skips here. Um, so let me go with, with the first one. You're hearing the whistle. When you go to that little uh, door right there, you will see, normally you wait for the whistle. The, it's only half the whistle, not the full whistle. Um, Proto Man appears, breaks the uh, platform, lets you go through the stage, goes on normally. However, because you can slide into that screen, if you jump off of a certain uh, little window, you can actually bypass the entire win uh, whistle, which then causes this. Where is the music? Um, it also creates some garbage with the penguins. As you saw, they looked oh so lovely. They were actually supposed to be penguins. But as you can tell, they weren't. Followed by those little uh, tadpole eggs. If you take, if you have Mega Man under certain one of them, get on Rush Jet, shoot one that has a specific tadpole in it, because you can always know where the tadpoles are. You can actually zip through all of the eggs, making the stage a tiny bit faster. So here's Gemini Man. He hates snakes, and he's already gone. <laughs> In that previous room, he seemed to just completely skip by the boss. Yes. Is that normal? Yes. Okay. So, uh, Gemini Man is notoriously difficult without Search Snake because he has a clone, and they both 
uh, you have to generally defeat the clone before you can actually get to Gemini Man, but they both take the same amount of damage. Um, There's also a bug sometimes where you can destroy the clone and then shoot the real Gemini Man, and then he'll despawn and yep. you'll be stuck in the room forever. Yep. Okay, that's not good. Uh, but Gemini Man stage is, is really fun because that's the first time, yes, I said, first time you will hear that music audio uh, disappearing act uh, in this run. You'll actually see it again here later on once we get past the first initial eight Robot Masters. And the, the removal of the music isn't just removing the music. It actually does reduce lag slightly. Yes, the music surprisingly actually creates a bit of lag. So getting it removed outside of, you know, you saving time by going through that uh, jump there, you actually save a bit of time just by re uh, removing the music from the screens. I didn't get to talk about it because I was already talking about the other things um, in Gemini Man stage. That last little room where he was jumping uh, over those tiny little blocks, shooting the search snakes on the fish. That new that room is notoriously difficult. Yes. Um, because you have you don't only have these little fish that are jumping at you as you're jumping across these tiny little you know blocks. You are also having to deal with these dragonflies that are jumping down. That was Needle Man, and it's just it's absolutely terrifying. Uh, Needleman, so what he used there was Gemini, uh, Gemini Beam. He, that weapon, if you do not hit your target, will just bounce around the room. And Creating cause. insane amounts of lag. Yes. And you have to wait until it bounces around enough times to disappear before you can shoot it again. Wasting a ton of time. So Taskbot knew exactly where Needleman was going to jump and made sure to hit every single one of those shots before that laser could cause lag. Now on that screen, you can see four of the eight stages kind of crumpled up, and then four other robots. Oh, god dang it. Taskbot, stop dying. <laughs> so I believe what he did was he... Um, he hit frame the, perfect. Yeah, he hit the spike on the same frame that the screen transitioned. So, so technically he died, but he's still going. Yeah. And what was the benefit of that? <laughs> uh, reduces lag. So in to on top of getting rid of these little holograms that uh, you see, like that one right there, getting rid of the music on Shadow Man stage actually reduces an insane amount of lag. Um, also because it's just kind of fun. Just, you know, you get a little quiet time. You know, you know nice and Mega Man and chill. So do we have any prizes during this block? Um, all, all the prizes are on constantly ongoing throughout the entire marathon. You have the Azure Striker Gunvolt uh, starter pack. You have the Nintendo Switch grand prize, which you donate $25 and you get entered towards that. We have little prizes here and there. Um, uh, we have, if you donate $1, $1, you are entered to win Lord of the Dance. Michael flatly returns as Lord of the Dance, either VHS or DVD. We are not kidding, we have a ton of these. We also have a royal wedding. Why do we have Royal Wedding? It's been everywhere. It was stuck on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's what that's what they want you to do. Is they want you to just enjoy the Royal Wedding for the rest of your life. Apparently. So, as you've seen earlier, and now as you're seeing here again, some of these Robot Masters are familiar, but not in the sense that you saw them earlier on in this game. The Robot Masters that he's fighting in these re revisits are, in fact, the Robot Masters from Mega Man 2. Um, those, the robots that you see them dropping down into are called the Dock Robots. And they kind of have all the collective fight data from the Robot Masters from Mega Man 1 and 2. Or, sorry, just from Mega Man 2. Uh, that would be awful. It was 1 and 2. Um, and you basically just have to refight from your past. And I believe that was kind of added in last minute as filler because the game, again, was unfinished um, when Capcom wanted to put out. So they were like, okay, well, we'll just add the Mega Man 2 Robot Masters again with revisits that are slightly more difficult. And they aren't, well, they aren't entirely identical. The hitbox is much bigger, so they're, yes. they're much more difficult to dodge, if not they, nearly impossible. And if they hit you with their weapon, here's more zips here. Yes. Oh, it's so fun. I love seeing that. Um, they do like a third of your damage, third of your health. Yeah. So yeah, I guess you can just pause in that one frame yeah. window before the boss fight starts. That's actually something that I, I watched this like run like two or three times, and I never caught it. Every time I watch this, something it, new. Well, it's there's so much complexity. Right? So fun fact about that pit: if you don't have any rush jet energy, you're stuck, and yep. you have to reset the game. Yep. Oh, wow. You are completely stuck. The game is just 
you're done. So you you have to hope that you save the password from the previous stage. Because <laughs> this is back in the day where passwords were important. Making quick quick work of that room. That's the only time you will... I, no, we didn't even see Rush Marine there. He used Rush Jet. So you don't even see Rush Marine. Sorry, guys. Yeah, they... They got rid of Rush. Oh, oh, oh there's another one of those. Again. Um, they got rid of Rush Marine entirely after Mega Man 4 because they were like, well, it's kind of redundant because you got a jet. Hey, it's Bubble Man. Weren't we just talking about him? Also, shout out to Commander Keen in the front row here. <laughs> so, unless there's something really notable in this boss fight, some quick things to know about. Uh, this is being done. Uh, man, that was fast. <laughs> um, this I, is that's being. That's a normal Bubble Man fight for you. <laughs> This tool-assisted speedrun is found on taskvideos.org. It was originally made in an emulator. We converted it into the right format for this robot you see right here to play. And Taskbot is pressing all the buttons by going through this con controller cable directly to yep. the console. Uh, you can see in the front, I know it's probably tiny in the screen, but there's a visualization board. We've replaced the buttons in a normal controller with lights. That was done by Micro 500, who also made the replay device we're using to send the button presses to the console. Let's get a round of applause for Micro 500. Yeah, no kidding. Being, He's help, awesome. being able to help Duango set up Taskbot for everyone's enjoyment. So, where can we see more of Taskbot? So, you can find more about Taskbot at, well, you can go to uh, taskbot.net, which has a listing uh, of, of all the tools assisted speedruns with console verified. There's also the GDQ VODs section, which lists everything we've done at GDQ events. But probably the best place, if you want to be involved in any of this, if you want to see the sausage being made, if you want, if you will, go to taskbot. Uh, oh, twice. Oh, wow. twice? Really? Oh, three times? Three times. Taskbot, you're crazy. Good grief. Go to discord.taskbot.net. If you go to discord.taskbot.net, most of the really fun stuff happens on that server. So swing on there, on by there. It's a very welcoming place. Don't worry, we're a very cool community. I've only been there for like a few days and they're all like, hey, you're really cool. It's like, okay, cool. So I'm not lying, see? It's a good place. <laughs> okay, what was that for? I, 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 Taskbot, are you losing your mind over there, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> you good? So this particular playthrough, the, this tool-assisted speedrun was a ridiculous number of re-records. Uh, if he still has it up on his phone, he can tell you how many times uh, it had to be uh, the re-record count, how many times they had to back up and try again. I might. Give me one sec. That's the main man the phone schedule. You don't need that. You just had it. If you don't, it's okay. I did. I don't know where it went. Oh, it was in Gmail, so I had to reopen up the Google Chrome through Gmail. In the meantime, what do you think of the strategies in this run? Uh... I was particularly impressed with the uh, the zips that they did in uh, Gemini Man stage, um, and I believe Kay, uh, when you played Mega Man Three for us for oh don't tell don't talk about that what no just go ahead <laughs> for uh, I think it was Mega Manathon three or four yeah. um, you accidentally did one of those zips I think so I actually completely forgot about that yeah no I mean I mean I totally did it on purpose totally on purpose. <laughs> I think I was so busy trying to make commentary that I just ended up zipping, and I was like, what just happened? Uh, let's see how many re-records there were. Submission 4033. Okay, that's the submission. Just click on submission notes. So typically, submission. if you go to test videos, there's a movie publication file that just has a short summary. But if you click on submission notes, you can see the author's notes, as well as uh, what, what version of the emulator they were using, things like that. And it lists the re-record on the right. Uh, you, so you can see how many times someone had to retry a specific section. I'm actually missing what it says submission. Author's comments. Oh, author's comments. Oh my god, I'm literally blind. I knew that. I knew that. So it'll be on the right-hand side there. Okay. Re-record re count. 132,334. 100,000 plus times. Can you imagine hitting any button on your keyboard 100,000 times? <laughs> like, <laughs> and that's just the number of times you press the button to back up. Taskbot, you need help. What are you doing? What are you doing? He only has two help. Okay, I, I trust the robot. He knows what he's doing. Okay. All right. I, I would never enter that fight with only two oh, health. Oh, God, no. <laughs> that, that little health there, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to need that. 
Um, Crash Man is ridiculous, so being able to uh, enter that fight with only two health and know exactly what you're doing is just insane. That was Break Man again, because cause they wanted us to fight him one more time. Yeah, and you saw he... To prove a point. There's, again, there's a frame where you can do inputs at the start of the boss fight, so he jumped up on top of the ledge so he'd be closer to him yeah. when he spawns. When well, normally, the, this is on Rockman 3 instead of Mega Man 3, correct. so you saw Japanese text there. That's to reduce lag. Yeah, reduce and, lag. Well, and, and, then, and to reduce cutscene length because the text is shorter and yeah, a bunch of other basically things. Basically what uh, Light was saying, that Dr. Wily bamboozled us once again, of course, because it's Dr. Wily. Uh, they were working on a robot called Gamma to kind of help bring about world peace. And Wily, in his Wily ways, uh, decided that he wanted Gamma for himself to the, you know, take over the world. So he took Gamma. And Dr. Light was literally screaming, going, Dr. Wily stole Gamma! Or at least that's in the American version. Little penguins. Hi, little penguins. Bye, little penguins. That and that's luck. the last time you'll ever see those little penguins. We will miss you guys. And funny thing, they ac they actually misspell Dr. Wily's name in the yes, English w -I -L -E -Y. version. Yes, W-I-L-E-Y. Yeah. It's... Now that skip, that little jump there uh, is, I'm, it's so much fun to watch. It's like little tiny frame perfect jumps that you're like, that's not possible. And then suddenly he's like 20 feet in the air and you're like, how did you do that? So the layout of that room right previously there is actually different in the Japanese version because there's a bug where if you die and respawn, you have a chance of getting stuck inside the terrain. This is the Japanese version. Yeah. It's di the room layout is different in the Japanese version compared to the American version. I thought the American version, does the American version have the spikes? No. The, the, oh, that was a turtle, by the way. Yeah. The the room before the boss door with the little energies at the top. Yeah. Yeah, if you re die and respawn there, there's a chance you can get stuck inside oh. the block. Oh. So, thank goodness Taskbot didn't die. Yeah. Um, fortunately, that boss is actually really super easy. You can either, like it, like he did, uh, use a Shadow Blade or you can use Top Spin uh, just to kind of, like, do really quick work. Once you defeat, like, I think it's like four or five of the turtles, the boss just spontaneously combusts. Yes. Swag strats shooting the uh, Shadow Blade backwards. <laughs> Always fun. This fight that you're about to see normally is excruciatingly painfully slow, but Taskbot is going to make it look excruciatingly painfully fast. So Only because Task we're jealous. Taskbot is going to shoot the Shadow Blade as fast as it can. And just... So as you can see, it's Yellow Devil. Mark three, I believe. Mark two. Mark two, because right, because it's not in Mega Man 2. And normally you will do like a two cycle with this. So he's gonna take a damage boost right there and just Wow. <laughs> Rapid fire. I think that was like 30 DPS. Yeah, because you have to press a button and release a button, so the fastest you can do it is 30 frames a second. We do have one five dollar donation that says go Taskbot go. Thank you, Anonymous. Speaking of donations, we are at $8,600, and if we uh, reach $10,000, uh, there is an incentive to shave Brian's head. So Brian Belcher, our, our generous host, has the most wild hair in the world. I don't think anybody but him likes it. <laughs> and he's willing, to don he's, he's willing to shave it all off at $10,000. And he wants me to do it. And he wants Skipper to do it That's right after the Mega Man 7 idea. run. Is he going um, to give his hair to the children? Unfortunately, just, just we can't donate hair. We're not famous enough yet. Okay. So this boss is normally <laughs> a lot harder. A lot harder. Uh, there's three different clones of Mega Man, and oh, Brian's about to come make a comment about me making comment about his hair. He's showing the hair off. This is about to go away if we can get to ten thousand dollars. Oh wow! His little <laughs> side flop mop. I, I, I'll, I'll probably grow it back all out. If yeah, he, he, he <laughs> like you blink and Brian's hair is growing back out. Um, <laughs> There's three ro there's three clones of Mega Man. Only one of them is real, however. Two, the other two are just holograms. In order to determine which one is the actual uh, clone, it's the only one in those three little teleporters right there that actually has a kind of teleport in uh, blip, while the other two just kind of appear. Um, fortunately for Taskbot and for speedrunners, we all know the top one is always the first one. Is the actual is the real one. So here we are with the refights. Um, just. Taskbot's going to make quick work of them. And I believe you're going to see uh, him use the Robot Master's own weapon against them. Sometimes, yeah. Like right here, Gemini Man's uh, weapon. Yes. Nah, we're good. 
each robot master in the game takes four damage from their own weapon. Yep. It's literally a quit hitting yourself run. <laughs> Make quick work of hard man there. All right, we can't stop the top. There's actually a glitch with this fight that if you hit him with that hard knuckle too fast or too close, you can actually get locked in a uh, kind of jumping, punching animation until all of the uh, uh, death sprites are off the screen. And even then for like two more seconds. So you, just, if, you if you do that, you're just like locked in position. You're like, okay, now I can move. So again, just making quick work, staying on the teleporters to make sure that he can just get out of there as quick as possible. Doesn't need the health because he's Taskbot. Using Shadow Blade against Shadow Man, of course. Not as fast. effective as Metal Blade, but still super good. Amazing refights. Also amazing graphics in this game. I, good music, good graphics. I'm amazed how far they pushed the original Nintendo with this game. Yeah, Capcom was always like at the top of... Uh, the top of their game with their pixel art. Yep. So this boss fight, you literally can't do anything for like the first 15, like 10 seconds. So yeah. Taskbot's just going to hang out, do whatever he needs to do. Get rid of that turret and then another damage boost and do what Whoa. he needs to do. Fire, 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 fire. Huh. Did you see the bullets coming from yep. the other that, side that of the screen? That happened normally too. That's weird. That's happened to me too. I guess it's because um, it, like the screen wraps around from left to right, and yeah. the half of the boss was off the right side of the so screen. So that Wily actually doesn't have iframes either, so Taskbot could have, in fact, uh, defeated him almost as fast as Yellow Devil. However, because he needed to be on the left side of the screen for the cutscene, he made sure to do a little bit of uh, slow strats by jumping over, hitting Wily with the Shadow Blade. So, so this here's Gamma. Gamma. This yeah. is the final boss of the game. Coming up on time here in one second. That was the first half of Gamma, and that's the second half, and time. Time? That's it? Let's give it up for uh, Taskbot. Good job not having any uh, performance anxiety. Uh, <laughs> if, now, there are other people here I need to credit if they are still in the room. Our TyKevin83, Funkmaster, MP. Right there, there. Come on over here, guys. Illy. Come on. Let's see, who else is here? P4 plus two. We've got some really important folks up here. I'm going to have them come on over onto stage. I know that the, uh, they weren't expecting that, but one of the things that I can't stress come enough. On up. Come on up. It's never just one person. There is yep. a whole host of people that are involved in making this happen. Uh, Funkmaster here on stage. I don't know if somebody can run the camera so it can actually be seen. but um, Brian? So this whole crew here has helped out with a lot of different things. Yep. P4 Plus 2 helped me out with Super Mario World in the past. Uh, Funkmaster made a device that is capable yep. of pressing buttons, which is pretty incredible. Yep. Uh, man, there's always just a huge list of people involved in all of this. And uh, I just want to say thank you to the whole crew. Again, Micro 500 made the device we're using. Um, there's just so many people I want to thank. If you want to be part of our team, come to discord.taskbot.net and go to taskvideos.org for more tool-assisted speedruns. With that said, I think this concludes the Taskbot portion of the run. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for these guys.